I wanted to talk about the, the politics and the sociology of the economics profession. Is unless uh, that is tackled directly, unless it's changed, I don't think any serious reform project can succeed. Um, you have, for example, a hierarchy of journals in economics. Uh, clearly defined, everybody within the profession knows what they are. Uh, and if you cannot get published in the so-called top journals, you might as well not exist inside the profession. Now, those top journals are very tribal and they're very ideological in most important respects. So that if you have a dissident or an unorthodox article, you're not going to get in there. Now, you can get published. There are many good journals with very competent referees uh, and uh, they're very fair-minded. And you can get published in those journals and your work it can be of very, very high quality but it does not count in an economics department as a qualification toward tenure and promotion in that department. So you're dead meat as far as, a, as professional presence is concerned. Uh, the so-called hierarchy of departments uh, in which, you know, I grew up around an economics department uh, at Harvard in the 60s and early 70s. And at that time, it was an exceptionally eclectic group of people. Uh, and my father, of course, was, a, was a, uh, a major figure in the department. But it included, for example, a scientific presence with Celia Leontief, who did input-output models. It included historians like uh, uh, Alexander Gershenkron uh, and uh, uh, statisticians and development theorists like Simon Kuznets. Uh, it included... Um, uh, uh, Kenneth Arrow, it included uh, Albert Hirschman, very, very different people with um, uh, each of them a kind of very distinctive personal imprint. Uh, there's no department. No such department survives today. Uh, departments have become uh, very conventionalized uh, and uh, very uniform. So it's, I think it's fair to say that apart from perhaps Joe Stiglitz of Columbia, um, there is no major top-level department in the country that had anybody in it who was on top of this crisis in advance in a serious way. Right? I, mean, I think it, they, uh, you can make a, maybe make a little case for Paul Krugman, but you know, of course he's doing other things these days. But, um, I think that's a fair up. It was not coming out of MIT. It was not coming out of Harvard. It was not coming out of Yale or Princeton. Certainly not out of Chicago. Uh, and I think that tells you something about what's happened uh, at the highest levels. People have become preoccupied with their own puzzles. Most of them are not interested in macroeconomics. Most of them are not interested in economic policy questions. So that's the second big problem. Uh, so you have the journals. You have the departments. Uh, you, you have, in fact, uh, in, out there in the broader country, um, where a, 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 an eclectic or unorthodox department gets a little foothold, it almost automatically comes under attack. Uh, that happened at Notre Dame. We have very distinguished people who got basically deprived of their ability to train PhD students and therefore to do anything in terms of, of, of perpetuating their their, uh, their, their ways of thinking. And someone as distinguished as Philip Morawski is in that position. Uh, at the uh, University of Missouri in Kansas City, which is obviously a very uh, uh, little known place in the academic world, but where you have some very, very interesting work, it almost immediately comes under critical review from hostile forces. So unless you, one can develop institutions that provide real opportunities for people to make their careers doing the kinds of things I've just described, related things, uh, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen because people will get a little ways down that road and then they'll get discouraged and they're very bright people. They will go off to Wall Street, uh, what they used to be, they could go off to Wall Street and make money uh, or they could do something else with their lives and uh, they, will, they will make those choices.